Welcome to HookandHuntTV.com. This week is a really cool week for me. As those of you who have been watching the show over the last couple years, you know that my intensity and my passion for layout gunning, for any kind of waterfowl hunting matter of fact, has been really intense. And that's grown, uh, actually, with each passing day. And being at the Midwest Decoy Collector Show this week, I've got a really, really cool opportunity, thanks uh, to a really good friend of mine, Pat Gregory, to sit here with Jim Schmidlin, uh, who is, well, one of his nicknames is the Pope of Layout uh, Hunting. <laughs> And, uh, but his decoys are impressive. He hunts over his entire spread, um, and they're quite incredible. And you're going to see that as we go through this interview. But what I want a lot of you young water followers who have been starting to follow our show and email me, I want you to see there's so much more to it. There's so much more to it than just the harvesting or killing of the birds. There is actually the, the integrity, the heritage, all that goes with it. And I couldn't think of anybody better to illustrate that point uh, than Jim. So, Jim, thanks for being here, first of all. Thanks, Jim. Really, really glad for you to be here. I, all, all I want I want to know, my number one question is, where does the passion come from? How did you get into this? And what does it mean to hunt over your own decoys? Well, it means a lot. It's, it's just half of my joy and appreciation of what we do is gunning over my own decoys. I started doing this a long time ago. It was uh, 1975. I was fortunate enough to uh, have an experience. I got invited with uh, a friend of mine from Erie, Pennsylvania, who invited me to go layout gunning with him and his crew. And uh, his name was Tom Bauman. Uh, he's uh, passed away a few years ago, but uh, I had the honor and distinction and pleasure of gunning with him and his crew. They put out uh, an num amazing number of decoys, uh, 70 or 80 decoys. A lot of those decoys were old wooden decoys. Most of them were factory made decoys. A lot of them weren't great decoys, but some were. They had character and uh, I got so much joy and satisfaction out of this week-long trip with these guys, hunting with them, learning how to do it and what not to do and how to be careful out on that big water. Mm -hmm. We were gunning Lake Erie, uh, but anyhow, the, by the following year, I had my own rig, I built my own layout box, and I began carving my own decoys. I, I, I actually started uh, in 1975. Uh, I started carving my own hand carved set of uh, bluebill decoys, uh, canvas backs, and golden eyes. They were the first three species that I did. I later went on to carve virtually every species. Uh, but uh, uh, today, now, today we, we're still doing it. Uh, we're gunning over strictly over my own wooden decoys. I've not had a plastic decoy in my rig for probably 35 years. I won't allow it. <laughs> I won't allow it. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, we do this and uh, get, get great satisfaction out of it. Uh, I think that's important. I would encourage any young, any young carvers out there who hunt to use your decoy. I mean, if, if you're going to carve, uh, don't think so much in terms of how you can sell them, use them, and uh, your hunting will be that much more rewarding. You'll get that much more out of your sport, and uh, and pass it on to your sons. Uh, get them interested in. Uh, uh, we want to protect our hunting rights and uh, whatnot, and uh, and our tradition, hunting, and uh, what better way to do it than Carving your own decoys, true gunning decoys, using them, and uh, enjoying the sport all that much more. Now it's time for your K100 Fuel Treatment Tip of the Week. K100 Fuel Treatment cleans fuel systems, reduces smoke and emissions, restores aged fuel, and adds power. K100 Fuel Treatment kicks gas. By now I would assume you're probably in a mood for just a little duck hunting. So I'm going to go over a couple training tips that I like to do in the off season to get Chesney and I both ready for when hunting season actually gets here. Hey, during the summertime, on the cooler days, that's when Chesney and I will do a lot of field training. I'll work with her maybe five, ten minutes a day. Get several retrieves under her belt, make her feel good, positive about it, and that's it. 
quick and to the point. On those hot days, those are the days when I like to stay closer to the water. That way, Chesney can be really, really good about not getting overheated. She can be really good about having fun with it and still enjoy the experience. Dead bird. <laughs> On a hot day like today, she has a lot of fun. She thinks she's actually just playing around. We're working. And that way, when hunting season comes here, she'll be ready. So will I. I know I have a well-trained dog of a great hunting partner, too. Over here. Good girl. Right here. Thank you. Th uh, that figures. Hey, why don't you get back to the show? I'm going to go dry off. The Cast and Blast newsletter is the official newsletter of HookandHuntTV.com. Go to our homepage and sign up, and we will email the show to you each and every week. The Cast and Blast newsletter. Watch and win now on HookandHuntTV.com. I started making a rig of merganser decoys uh, way back in the early 80s. And uh, these birds uh, are excellent de decoying birds. Uh, they come... They respond very well to their own kind, and when you have, uh, say, a dozen merganser decoys set off to the side of the rest of your main rig, uh, the rewards can be really amazing at uh, different times, especially out on the main lake in Erie. There are big gangs of mergansers flying that lake. And uh, boy, when you have uh, 15, 20, 25, 30 birds in a group coming in on you, uh, my goodness gracious, I mean, my heart's going like this. I never got tired of the thrill of that. It's, it's just so much fun. Uh, you got to be careful out there. Uh, it's not always easy. And we don't always get birds, but uh, we, we, uh, we enjoy it. It's all part of the game. Here we are. We're, this is the end of April, and I'm already looking forward to October and November. Have, like, if you looked at one of your decoys here, like this old squaw, right here, beautiful one, what would there be a memory that would come to mind right away? Like, you look at this and go, that hunt was awesome. Actually, you just picked up one that's mint. I never used this bird, but uh, there are many others here. Here's a merganser. Here, here's an old uh, hooded merganser. There you go. That, uh, I don't know if you can see this on, on the camera here, but uh, there's a lot of uh, penciled in yep. dates and places where this bird has been used. Uh, you can see the wear and tear on the keel and everything. Uh, but uh, anyhow, these dates and places, if I want to know more about where this bird served and who all hunted over with, I can refer back to my journal, my logbook, and uh, I can fill in any kind of information anybody or myself would want to be reminded of, and uh, I can tell a lot more about the hunts that this particular decoy was part of. Uh, I rig my decoys in uh, October, and uh, I... Uh, use them straight through until the end of the season and uh, many of them uh, have been used uh, many 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 times in each one of these years noted on the bottom here so pretty incredible thing I I'm gonna get to the rest of the show here I know Jim's got a bunch of people here waiting at, that want to use decoys and uh, and see them and we're gonna show you some more of these as this goes on um, Jim it's truly a pleasure thank you thank you thank you very much for, for being on the show and uh, this is going to be the end of this segment, but I'll tell you what, you want more information on just decoy collecting at all, we'll have the information as usual right down here on the Midwest Decoy Collector Show. Great organization, a lot of history, a lot of heritage, and right now I'm like a kid in a candy store. So as usual, we're going to tell you thanks for being with us today. God bless you for another section, excuse me, another segment of HookandHuntTV.com. With Jim Schmillen, I'm Jim Crowley. Awesome. Thank you, sir.